Hi, Alan. How are you? Yeah, fine, fine, Sangeeta. Uh, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. So you have resigned from everywhere, right? You are, are you in the uh, horticulture engineering, wherever you, you were in some institute, right? Yeah, yeah. So I was with the uh, uh, College of Horticulture Rajendra Nagar. So okay. it is a Kondalakshmana Horticulture uh, uh, University. Okay. Uh, so till last March, I have took the courses. So due to pandemic, uh, maybe as I have been con in contract mode or so, so, I couldn't do because my workload with the water has increased. Achha, achha. So you are still in uh, uh, here, right? In uh, with the WOTR, you are still there? Uh, No. So uh, what happened? Uh, so normally in uh, water, every three years, they used to renew the contract. Okay. So my contract uh, was uh, ending on uh, 31st March. Mm -hmm. So I have wrote the mail to them that uh, saying that so I'm not going to give further commitment. Uh, so and they started uh, negotiating with me, but uh, it, it could not materialize. Uh, and they say that simply you continue will not uh, uh, meet the, my demand. So I said that's okay. Uh, and uh, as I have been impacted with the COVID uh, in February, so I thought that let's take the lit pause and work on uh, health and uh, and reorient myself. So since then, I am practicing yoga, meditation. Yeah, yeah, great. So uh, do, have you uh, been to art of kind art of living? So I have did an art of living course also, but uh, so I am taking a course uh, with uh, online mode with the daily uh, yoga. Okay. So uh, actually, I I do art of living because mm -hmm. you know I I have been knowing art of living since uh, since two thousand five, but uh, and and also I knew that one I was working in a very remote uh, village in uh, Odisha. Denkana, that is a backward district. Mm. So there I I was uh, giving basic health awareness to the SSG ladies, you know. Mm -hmm. So one of the ladies uh, told me that uh, she had uh, she had come to Bhubaneswar to her son's place, and her son had taken her to a Sudarshan Kriya. Yeah. And uh, her knee problem got cured after that. So I was knowing, I, I knew that um, a lot of ailments also get cured. It doesn't get cured so easily, but that was a healing healing uh, yeah. workshop that they had uh, had. So, but till uh, till 2020 20 also, I, I was introduced to Art of Living. I did a three days course, but I didn't continue. So normally that will happen for this art of living course and uh, other courses. So they will give orientation for five days, ten days like that. Yeah. Post to completion of training program, following uh, it and doing our own is a big challenge. No, that is that is what I'm saying. In 2021, somehow, somehow, uh, I got into that and I got involved since last one year i am doing sudarshan kriya continuously you mm -hmm. know that my is very office, best of these things my office is at third floor one tangible re result is before while climbing up no i was gasping uh, many of us but now it is i don't you know so it it heals you it makes your heart stronger so that is one and then because uh, I am close by to Rishikesh Ashram, because the Delhi is closer, no, just overnight. So I in April and May, I attended two, two courses, physical offline courses. Mm -hmm. And uh, it uh, kind of uh, gives you a lot of energy, you can say. Uh, what do you say? Mental strength, you know. It builds somehow. The process is like that. 
you don't bother about the teacher you don't bother about uh, what uh, sri sri ravi shankar says or him as a guru don't do anything just follow the process yeah and uh, and you will find and ultimately you will start respecting somebody right so if it is your choice whether you respect uh, gurudev or not it is your choice but the... it, it, it is not like that so i also did uh, uh, sudarshan kriya but the thing is that continuity so uh, again uh, again uh, in sudarshan kriya they they uh, put emphasis on breathing exercise so whereas i am doing uh, advanced uh, uh, meditation where where in uh, sudarshan kriya and uh, surya kriya also is there uh, all these are there also yeah so what i do is for for every day uh, every day uh, like say doing everything is not possible so what i do is there is a there is a process uh, i i limit that to 20 25 minutes and uh, every day i do on saturday sunday i do the elaborate version of that like say exercising surya namaskar and uh, all those things also even the, though uh, sorry please continue uh, yes the advanced meditation course is like once you then you feel kind of you uh, know detached from all the all the problems that are happening because uh, then you 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 are in much higher higher and then see all the whatever challenges are coming you know these are for your own good yeah we, we, like say immediately it is very difficult to see that but you uh, kind of um, dissociate yourself from the pain that is what uh, the humiliation right say so suppose uh, for example your case only uh, wotr is such a respected organization everybody respects and uh, you you have done so much uh, still uh, this kind of things happen this uh, contract and uh, such things happen and um, that is for a bigger purpose you can if yeah true yeah if they would have uh, ext- extended uh, along with whatever demand you were uh, doing then then might be you would have continued there for uh, even longer and you wouldn't have seen other other opportunities those are there yeah it is there but i am also uh, thought of uh, doing volunteerism with the sri sri or uh, uh, some uh, some other organization so that i can work with that atmosphere because the cause and purpose of doing uh, work in the religious uh, uh, organization is something is different so it will go with a, uh, like one beautiful rhythm so i also thought and uh, somehow i missed that so again i, I if we have got our opportunity so i may enroll uh, like uh, soil uh, sadguru is started a movement on soil so soil Uh, because microbes if it is no microbes in the soil and we're going to lose the productivity of uh... let me let me come to your ppt so that i can capture no whatever you are saying Yes, Anand. Go ahead, please. So I thought of enrolling to two month, three month volunteerism with the Sadguru or Sri Sri or any other organization. So, so where wherein I can contribute with their bigger cause. So their impact and their presence is entire pan India and uh, and the world. So, so that is also an idea. Uh, mm. So I also explored that thing also and. Uh, so living the organization i felt uh, that so i also thought of uh, doing a 
yoga as an intervention to work with the farmer also. Yeah, because I felt that working with the farmers, so why farmers are not performing? Because they lost the interest. They lost the interest to do the farming. So they are saying that because of they are not educa well educated and uh, with and doing they are doing the fa farming activity because of the curse. And that discontinuity is also a greater challenge. The country like India, where the poverty and the major portion of uh, livelihood depend in rural area, so to bring that behavioral changes and uh, the pattern of doing farming activity has to be continued with the respect. So, so I also thought of uh, attempting uh, yoga with the farmer group. Without that, uh, we, we only say that by simply sitting and uh, telling farmer that uh, do this practice, do that practice will get benefit. So it will not, with this uh, approach, we can't, make a change so bringing holistic change it's, it should be our own involvement 100 more than 100 percent involvement and out of box thinking and uh, integrating all this activity along with yoga and we also integrate festival also so we'll also teach them what is the importance of festival so it is naturally importance connected. of what you said importance of festivals festivals sorry i didn't get it can you write in the chat? Yeah, festival. Farming festival. Uh, if you can write in the chat. Festival. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Importance of festivals. Okay. Because we, if we uh, connect our intervention with the festivals where wherein farmers will gather themselves and uh, uh, that so gathering and community uh, will bring that essence. Because nowadays the festivals also uh, people are doing for the sake of doing it. So the importance of that and how we will uh, how will we going to bring in practice farming practice that will also going to change with a lot of uh, good results yeah great great yes so this is something uh, one needs to know think over like say whatever has come to your mind like say whatever little that uh, I know, for example, uh, it gives a lot to think, think over. Like say, this, of course, we we create, we create, right? We create farmer gatherings, and uh, we create uh, so many gatherings, right? And uh, farmer mela, kisan mela, all those things. We can actually associate this to festivals. So those yeah. can be kisan uh, gatherings as well. Uh, why not? Yes, yes. That will give, bring, bring the wholeness in the village and uh, so that ownership and uh, the importance and uh, for longevity, for sustainability of uh, the activity we propose, we do, do the interventions. So till writing the proposal, we will we'll, we'll think many things and while implementation, so we are uh, after the spending the money, nobody will bother that uh, how the activities are being uh, uh, grounded. So everybody is pushing to spend the money, but uh, how to get the return out of each rupee spending is um, much in required, um, much uh, devotion like that. Sure, sure. Yeah, what else would you like to um, talk? Like say water neutrality is something I didn't have much experience about. If you can tell something about that. So, so many industries, uh, for example, pharma in industries and uh, automobile industries. 
so which required uh, so lot of water they extract lot of uh, water like beverages uh, so to compensate uh, that uh, extraction so, uh, so to to fill the compliances requirements so they have to come they have to come up with the plan and execute that plan so how are they are compensating the extract so for that uh, so pharma companies and other beverages companies so they spend their uh, corporate uh, sustainability fund mm. so uh, so normally what happens so we have to give them evidence so not only we have to implement the project and we have to come up with we have to show the uh, evidence of uh, uh, achieving uh, the the neutrality target so some some million liters of our uh, compensated or potential created so that has to be monitored and that has to be reported to them and so that they can incorporate this finding uh, this achievement in their uh, compliance report and uh, that report whatever the achievement is there that has to be scrutinized by third party scrutinized by hmm? scrutinized by third party so has it happened somewhere yeah compliances requirement is there and uh, if pharma com companies they want to export their produce so they have to show that how they are uh, achieve their neutrality target and they how they are uh, <coughs> uh, company is uh, eco ecologically this thing so that that compliances they have to uh, submit that how they are uh, eco friendly our company is there to sell and export this uh, these things and uh, many of the corporates are working is it different from from organic uh, produce <laughs> no uh, yeah it is entirely different uh, so because computation is uh, different so we have to show the calculations so if we show if by implementing organic activities so we can say that by by doing this practice so farmer has reduced their uh, water requirement oh so that values also we have to uh, we have to show that authentic values proven values so with the research report we have to show them so mm -hmm. so and so research uh, this is the value of doing uh, saving of water so this much of area we have uh, impacted and this is the result so what has happened in the life of farmer wherever this has been done Uh, water requirement has been uh, reduced so uh, did it result in uh, less uh, less use of uh, energy or say so for example sra so sra through sra activities farmer will going to get uh, uh, and so input requirement is less and uh, productivity is more and uh, so farmer what he required so less input and uh, increased the productivity so mm -hmm. where in the the investor so for them what they required is that for their investment how much uh, uh, neutrality has been achieved and at the same time carbon sequestration so carbon credit so through the sri activities and other practices so how much uh, nitrogen application has been reduced nitrogen application yeah nitrogen application so which leads to uh, uh, emission of uh, uh, gases okay. so which gsg uh, emitted by application of uh, nitrogen so nitrogen so it is also it uh, uh, it increases the uh, uh, cng this nitrogen and uh, uh, other gases co2 so is this this emission uh, has been reduced because if a farmer is reduced his nitrogen application to one bag two bag three bag so it has a computation that this much quantity through this practices farmer has reduced okay so what so we can uh, do the farming activity the sustainable farming activity by utilizing uh, sus uh, sustainability corporate sustainability fund also 
and uh, whereas carbon credit fund also so mm. again doing these activities so we have to do the systematic and we have to compute and decide that area uh, and we have to show that uh, uh, doing a lot of collection of in data pre uh, sowing data and post sowing data and how much uh, soil quality has been increased okay okay so a uh, social capital is a very big uh, part in uh, big fashion part now it is in uh, this uh, development sector you know so social uh, capital and uh, so uh, first of all uh, give, give me just an uh, overview so how how this is going to uh, help uh, the farmers or and and uh, ultimately the climate risk so because because we are uh, no projecting uh, two things two uh, two things we can project about yourself is uh, like say enhanced social um capital enhancing social capital maybe social capital expert or climate risk expert so uh, first they would like to know the overview as to how this percolates down to the bottom of the pyramid and then contributes to to the development of that area and um, ultimately it uh, increases the pros prosperity of the area uh, and and the it reduces the climate risk as well you understand so this this will be, so the first thing is uh, how it per percolates down the second is uh, it uh, enhances farmer income the third is uh, prosperity of the economy reducing climate risk so just you have to give the uh, if if there is any other uh, advantage also that also you can give Part sustainability post project sustainability so uh, tell me like say why uh, social capital as a whole first so i will i will tell me my own experience uh, working uh, with the communities in different states uh, so so we have a uh, institutions like sgs and uh, and within the panchayat raj institutions uh, and uh, the watershed committees uh, different committees we have formed and uh, spos we also form Mm. so uh, all are uh, all these institutions have their own limitations mm. and uh, so in order to bring uh, continuity and uh, and we also know that uh, so we are implementing the program in a particular area because of uh, that area required the need they have a need and uh, because of they have facing the problem for so many years a uh, year so through our intervention so it has to last uh, uh, after post project also mm -hmm. so to address these things so we have to have a one uh, uh, social capital formation in order to uh, bring the sustainability and in also continuity of uh, the project activities so why 
already we have a so many institutions present in the villages however uh, so especially for farm related activities uh, uh, shgs can do wonders but uh, so southern states already shgs movement has begin uh, 30 years back so it has been quite uh, they have quite successful uh, and uh, and it, it, at the same time it is not uh, successful so they have a lot of saving but uh, enterprising that uh, saving uh, into in, invest enterprising that into uh, other activities not happening so uh, whereas uh, so my focus my in area of interest is a farming and uh, so we know that farmers are um, they are they are, they are facing individually their challenges each and every farmers have a similar kind of uh, problem but uh, they are not coming up together and solving that problem if they came together so they will get the opportunity to discuss problem also mm. if they got the opportunity to discuss problem and they will get the solution for that mm. very economical solution so we thought that uh, so committee and we also have a experience uh, with us that fpo experience so yesterday i have discussed that uh, many not many most of the fpos they are uh, they are died in the incubation period also once they are registered and no activity is nothing so the uh, the promoting organizations also they left uh, at a initial stage only so why there is a no demand from the farmers side so i also yesterday told that there is a need of uh, motivation farmers uh, one farmer required a motivation why he is doing the farming activities to to respect him to bring that dignity to him so for that it required a informal group of the peer members so neighboring farmers they come together and they discuss because most of the cases we see that neighboring farmers they never discuss they have their own dispute so even though they are relatives they are, they know each other since their birth but they never discuss they they think that neighboring farmer is a enemy of him and because of them the lot of investment uh, their time investment goes into that because of the wild animal so each and every farmers even though they have a small land holding so they have to spend their time so and for that also we need to bring these farmers into group and motivate them and uh, so not only we have to bring the culture of say bringing saving the trust and at the same time integrating them into a federation then fpo concept from there it it will take up because then market requirement and all these all these things will be met so we do all these assumptions and we simply uh, form the fpos and uh, so it is very difficult to sustain or uh, make a success story out of all the fpos so the success rate of fpos are 1 or 2% yeah 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 so we have to have a one acceptable uh, institution so wherein uh, majority of the farmers they represent through these institutions and uh, the bringing ownership to the program so whatever the program uh, the outsider is implementing in his area so the person who the receiving end he has to feel that the ownership of this activities so it is not like that uh, how much amount is being spent on him it is not important but so the way the services being taken by a farmer he has to take with the good spirit then only the activity will be successful and uh, this is happening so with the simple uh, investment and with the simple two or two to three meetings so sometime i feel that uh, for doing a uh, activities we don't require the money if we given the money then we'll spoiling the program yeah so uh, appeals what do you think as you were saying that it is happening also 
so is it happening because of the apo program or something else what so, is yeah. <laughs> because uh, for promoting the apo we should require two two tier approach so mm -hmm. one has one 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 uh, first initially before the apos or simultaneously we have to uh, bring the some extension activities with the farmers so wherein we'll going to tell him that uh, how to reduce the cost of cultivation and how to enhance the productivity and uh, through which so we can serve the community then then second is that so this much of production is happening so if you do aggregate and selling this much of income will will get if you if you do value addition and sell it this much of this thing happening so then then we will going to see that uh, participation of the farmers and uh, we can bring a change positive change and scalable change so what do you think like say this this is what you call as a social capital right is it like participation of a farmers happening or a social capital not only this uh, so we have to create a suitable uh, institutions and also bringing uh, some equipments so most of the farmers they face uh, uh, during sowing season they face lot of labor shortage so bringing mechanizations with the small uh, bringing that uh, mechanization is also part of the social capital formation uh, like custom hiring centers so who will run this custom hiring centers it depends so uh, it depends on nature of activities uh, so maybe farmer groups also we can give some equipments maybe if it is bigger one it depend on the efficiency of equipment and the scale at which we are introducing the mechanization so so this way and that way I, it is not possible because many of uh, startups they are coming up with the aggregator uh, so custom hiring aggregator application through which they can uh, they can book the machineries but uh, where in most of the cases uh, uh, farmer they face uh, labor shortages uh, in uh, sowing sowing and uh, intercultural operation so harvesting so many of the farmer mechanization is already done so many of the combined harvester they come into the villages for harvesting is a no not a issue sowing so paddy paddy transplantation uh, intercultural operation and uh, yes from, i uh, but anand who is uh, managing this equipments uh, go, the people who have this equipments from where farmers are hiring those people are not farmers right maybe uh, if, if farmer groups are there uh, so one in a village more than 20 farmer groups are there so the federation of that farmer groups they can they can take care of this equipment yeah so uh, i had tried uh, no creating one uh, one uh, what is a pool pool of uh, this this uh, equipment and uh, uh, it didn't su succeed because the most influential farmer actually kept it because he has some space that is where we we had to keep yeah and, uh, afterwards other farmers were not very comfortable asking for those yeah so this this needs to be one uh, one aspect uh, where there has to be a process process uh, assigned and uh, needs uh, uh, what you see the operation needs operation uh, operation manual you can see so normally what happens so normally the influential person serpent so as you said that he has a space and uh, so we hand over him because we have a spending pressure and uh, we have to ground that activity 
So after completion of that activity, we also forget and the, the serpent also forget. He never mm -hmm. used. And he said that nobody asked me because no, why the farmers uh, all will ask because they don't know how to use that. So they have their own uh, tradition of doing uh, themselves. So to bring, uh, making habit to use the equipment is also biggest task. So recently uh, during the December, so I have got a one fund of 1.7 crores wherein we have a, procured the uh, 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 equipment, particularly performing a smaller task and that has a local repairable, this thing. So mm. when it is uh, service locally, it has to be locally, local mechanic can do these services. Mm. So we have procured uh, some uh, intercultural meeting, these things. And uh, so we have procured and uh, so even though I have following up with my field team in the water, they that, so don't hire the equipment, so don't charge them. So they can uh, put a diesel and uh, use the equipment. Once they are habitual, na, they will come and pay the service. Mm. So it has bringing uh, in usage is important. So no, many of the many of the cases, so whenever I have to roam into the village side, na, so we will find that the combined harvester and thresher, all these things. Uh, if you see that equipment, either he is a ex serpent or a present serpent. Mm. So equipment become an ideal. So it is rusted. And uh, if you see uh, that farmer, the serpent is also not using it. Because of serpent, he has, he has taken that uh, equipment and he has kept idle his back. And back. So yeah. bringing usage and uh, uh, the follow-up, any, any, any agriculture department or organization, so they, they never follow it up. So how to bring it to uses and how it is how it is uh, adding the productivity. So mm -hmm. Sarpanch is also not, uh, you know, he has not attempted that uh, let's farm. Yeah, I lost you in between, Anand. Yeah, so based on my experience, so bringing a usage of equipment. Hmm. So that is important. So. Yeah. So in, uh, uh, yeah, you there? Yeah, please continue. Ah, so social capital and climate risk. These are two directly related thing or indirectly related uh, subjects. <coughs> so for implementation, uh, so to achieve the sustainability to the climate, I, both are different. Yeah. But uh, can we? But uh, both are different. If you uh, have a brainstorming, uh, both are related also. Uh, because without cap social capital formation, so so farmer will go do the mal adaptions. Farmer will. Uh, go for the mall adoption. So if, if due to the climatic risk, uh, uh, like a drought and other these things, so farmer is to the individual will go more investment on digging the bore well. If one bore fail, he will go for another uh, these things. So he has a setup like, uh, uh, like SSG's farmer has their own group federation like that in that he will going to gain that awareness. So uh, how to deal with uh, the challenges like uh, water stress, uh, there is a prolonged uh, gap in uh, uh, precipitation, rainfall. So in that, maybe he can he can work more on the conserva conservation side and uh, management of uh, water, these things. Maybe he will get to know. So, uh, so even though we wonder that, uh, so this drip irrigation uh, movement started in Telangana, and it's almost 20 years back. So many of the farmers, uh, they don't know how to access these things. 
so this uh, uh, social capital formation so they will get the knowledge and information that how to adopt uh, the climatic risk and the drip irrigation budget that has uh, that has been reduced i think because of that so it is, so plan so budget is not not reduced from between telangana so since four years uh, so government of telangana is uh, not keen to uh, implement the program so while they have their own government has got many uh, bad experiences so most of the companies may be dealers may be because of the target pressures so they have a, given the sanction the subsidies to the the unknown farmers so if we if, even though if you go for ex village we can find that many of the uh, ex, so real beneficiaries real farmers in his name somebody has taken the drip uh, subsidies and it has been sold out to the somewhere place so either it has been happened by farmer and it, it, it has been happened in the dealership and uh, maybe it is a variety of reasons now they have come up with the application so they are capturing all these things uh, so to streamline that and uh, now uh, because of uh, government of again uh, they, are, they are start coming up with the budgetary these things on um, promoting a farm aisle all this through the drip irrigation what they are promoting now farm aisle they are promoting uh, so for that exclusively they are giving uh, uh, farm aisle farm aisle actually for that activities uh, they are giving uh, subsidies for drip irrigation again vegetable and horticulture crops also they are uh, starting uh, uh, taking the application for subs uh, giving uh, subsidy so many of the farmers they don't know how to access the small and marginal yes, farmers yes, yeah, it is complicated how like say it can be part of the extension services as well as you are saying capacity building Yeah, maybe it. Uh, oh yeah, extension services. Which in uh, sorry, uh, extension services only. The wherein yeah. farmers will get this this type of information. So what are the benefits? What are the programs they are getting? Yeah, I I think so. So for climate risk, uh, whenever there is a distress. the farmers need to farmers group need to come up together and um, not to spend on something which will create more ghg so um, the knowledge part has to be given to them and yeah. also also the hands on experience they need to and and also access access yeah because no yeah yeah, yeah. so because social capital why it has importance na so uh, there are many research and many institutions like kvk agriculture institutions and uh, uh, imd other they are they are coming coming up with that uh, strategies so this particular district so this this these are the risks and these are the mitigation measures so a individual farmer uh, how he will going to access this knowledge so for that uh, 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 in this type of groups is required uh, is must mm. yes to access the, that information so apart from that so i am good in monitoring um, and uh, budgeting of the activities so what has been uh, kind of your uh, your take away budgeting and monitoring Uh, like suppose you uh, you somebody somebody comes like say it has been a long uh, long since uh, uh, playing in my mind uh, like uh, suppose you invest in far farming right 
people people who are the investors right uh, they they don't easily invest in farming uh, so uh, when will they uh, you think that they will come back to invest in farming and where uh, please repeat the question so uh, i am not getting the context uh, of the question uh suppose when uh, i i told you na yesterday that i i was interested in uh, doing herbal cultivation somewhere in in 20 places of india and oh. it um, people the farmers also was interested but uh, you know the seed money the money to start with mm-hmm. was a requirement yeah. and there were many investors but they will not invest in uh, something new Although I have a farmer who who has a sixty crore of turnover because he does this white musli, na saffed musli, and uh, he also has a market linkage in Europe. He goes and uh, sells in Europe, so he has uh, somehow, like say, created his uh, infrastructure and he has done. It. So he now uh, actually. looks for farmers who will do this and he knows that there will not be many investors in this field so normally such case uh, so i got that so to promote the package and practices of that particular activities so maybe we had to look into the organizations like wotr so so they are implementing the program for small and marginal farmers and they have some budgets grant budget for so to promote such activity in a scale mm. so such case so if that particular uh, uh, farmer he required aggregates of produce and he want to he has the knowledge how to grow it he know that package and practices mm. so normally so if we introduce uh, this type of package and practices so i will also give the i will also share the knowledge and uh, i will also uh, ensure the buyback of it so normally it will be the win and win uh, situation so normally we have to uh, we have to promote the uh, we have to that particular concept has to be reached out to the many organizations yeah so, so you are you are saying contract farming is the one way where... not not contract farming so if suppose if uh, for example so i am uh, so in in telangana i work with the more than 40000 farmers Hmm. Uh, so if i got this uh, opportunity if uh, this climate condition is suitable for uh, uh, growing uh, for example surface musli so i will uh, introduce this concept uh, through my own programs so i have uh, i have a target to reach out this year 10000 farmers having a budget of these things so i will also introduce this as a as a demo scale so in a village five to 10 uh, farmers i will uh, introduce this with the, my own budget so anyhow i got a person who has a knowledge and he has he, he is ready to buy the material or he will ready to ensure the uh, buying of this product okay so, so this you, way, you have already done that right yeah this 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 can be linkages can be established okay so normally uh, so it is again uh, selling uh, selling or convincing the organization that uh, this this will happen this will happen so again this required a lot putting a lot of efforts so normally what happen some organization they are good in implementing the activities but they are lack in marketing these things so they are in search of uh, uh, the institution or individual so who can who can ensure that uh, marketing part uh, so in that way we can connect the gaps okay okay great great um so right now if you can do this only then also it, like say you can earn a lot uh, anan like say <laughs> instead of uh, going for any job kind of thing i think if the, the 10 farmers that you have located out of every village and out of those uh, i don't know how many villages you have like out of 
thousand farmers if you can take only 400 farmers also and uh, by doing all these uh, activities no extension activities might be you can provide this and take one uh, percent of uh, whatever profit they are doing one percent of profit or gross whatever it will be like say huge money for you don't you think so yeah yeah so that is there. Uh, so I also thought of, uh, I also drawn the action plan for organization. So to promote a 1000 uh, households and uh, come up with uh, uh, 40, uh, 100 FPOs uh, having a one lakh farmers or also computed. So, and uh, so original idea is that how the organization will be sustained. Because most of the cases, so we will grant based organization. Once the project completed, so we'll, we have to, Either we have to search for other projects, so we have, to, or we have to close the contract of uh, employees. So mm -hmm. instead of doing uh, continued the FPOs and uh, establish the market, uh, mm -hmm. so that is a good idea. But uh, so uh, the only thing is that uh, the value chain analysis so that that has to be understood, and uh, so we should have a very good contact with the industries like Reliance, uh, Fresh. Uh, Oh, Walmart, uh, other uh, so that contact is, should be there, and uh, uh, and how the aggregation produce aggregation will happen at a at a village level, farmer level, and how the grading uh, grading is ensured. So that required a lot of uh, this thing. So when we go for micro planning, now, so a lot of seating will be done by farmers. <laughs> so that yeah, that is that potentiality is there. So one has to come up with the, some uh, fine these things. But I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, seen Reliance, Walmart, and Big Basket asking for herbal cultivation. They have gone for vegetable cultivation. That I have seen, and lot of uh, issues uh, in in uh, even even if aggregation happens, then also the crop size, no? So they were asking for in Himachal Pradesh. I have seen. So normally what happens, Sangeeta, you know, if, uh, if Hyderabad is, uh, if Reliance Hyderabad is there, so say they go for Monday directly. So Monday they will auction is there, so they'll procure from there because they, they don't go, there is not much headache of getting these things. So, so if they go for uh, farmers and FPOs, supply, uh, consistent supply of uh, material is the question. And uh, normally, if I have an agreement with the farmers and there is a rate variation, the farmer will sell to the third party, he will come up with the Monday. So that is happening. So they are directly procuring from uh, uh, Monday. And uh, some uh, like banana, ba banana, all these things. So they have a, uh, they have a growers, big farmers. So they are procuring for them. So again, they have a different arrangement. So we have to ensure that uh, consistent supply of uh, produce with a with the graded qualities so that is there and uh, normally the uh, price variation for vegetable is it's on uh, demand supply basis and uh, again uh, so that win-win situation should be there then only so we can establish very good systems so what do you do with the with the produce which is not graded which didn't qualify the grading mark <laughs> so normally vegetable uh, grading is that uh, so we have to be uh, it's sorted out uh, and uh, ripen one non ripen one and uh, so good quality and small quality good way weighed one so normally small there should not be any cheating one and uh, uh, so cleanly uh, clean one so not much these things is required Maybe so if if I am a I am associate with the production so what I will begin with uh, some uh, non perishable items so I, I will aggregate uh, the major pulses or cereals and I will sell it and uh, so vegetable that required much and much uh, micro planning so how much quantity and uh, how to aggregate them. Mm. So how to aggregate? So if my in a, in a, in a my project village and I am working with the ten villages wherein uh, I, my targeted farmers are hundred. So how to aggregate their produce? So now again again the question is that the farmers are small farmers. So mm -hmm. farmer what want what he what he want? So person who has to pick 
the produce from his farmland. So even though there is a price difference, hundred percent difference is there. So he will not come and uh, to the market and uh, sell it because once he sell it and uh, at a at a village level uh, at his farmland, if it is two rupees, the person who uh, so procure the material, he will give instant cash thing. So many thing, many small things are involved. So if I want to aggregate, so farmer will not bring this produce to a common point. Hmm. <laughs> these are many things are there maybe maybe this can be addressed hmm. uh, if it is viable then we have to procure at a scale at a, at a, at a certain quantity sometimes sometimes then only so it, it can be worked out otherwise so we have to because the person who collect the vegetable his cost is also involved so at a scale, at a certain optimum level, so if you operate, certainly we will succeed. <laughs> so would you do the business planning? Uh, can you can you do the business planning? Like say, yes, wow, how, how much area? Like say the smallest denominators that you can manage individually. So developing business plan, so as of now, I didn't. Uh, do but I have a perception so maybe with the brainstorming so I can come up with the business plan so uh, like the next uh, uh, next <coughs> that we'll have might be might be we can have this uh, business plan also um, if you if you know uh, who, whoever is uh, the person if we can aggregate and all that um, then we can do actually a business plan so yeah. uh, but I have that uh, rough structure structure of a business plan, of course. Um, uh, so business I, plan normally, so what I have seen that, uh, so motor motor this thing, so X and Y multiply and come up with the figures. So, so to uh, authenticate uh, that whether this is the optimum level or not. So if you work this X level, so farmer will going to get a profit. So for that, so we need to come up with some statistical solution. So we have to do some testing. So this level, whether it is uh, workable or not. So, so bringing that idea into business plan, so we really it will helpful to the farmer. Yeah, so if you have that, then it is okay for any kind of thing. I have done actually with some appeals, the business, mm -hmm. what all uh, problems are there. And uh, we can work out that um, also. Sure. Yeah. 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 So this, uh, let us see if the first week thing is done. So we have uh, out of this past week, we have done this uh, passion uh, test, goal setting exercise, personality test and interpretation, strength uh, test and, but the plan for achievement, this will be complete when we do the business planning also. Okay. So um, what I'll do is, uh, do I have your email ID? I, I don't have. So I will text you in WhatsApp. Huh. So what we can do is I, I will uh, put some uh, some uh, numbers. I'll uh, work out that structure and I'll send it to you. Then based on uh, your perception, you can put uh, some of the numbers wherever I indicate, right? Wherever okay. I indicate green, then you have to put those numbers. Once put, then we can discuss on uh, that as to um, whether that is a feasible thing or not and what else do you see foresee right so that will complete the first week's thing um, yeah 
and then And there is another thing like say your uh, your um, resume, right? Resume and if you have a cover letter, uh, that also like say in the meanwhile we can start applying to whoever. So okay. one list who list of those organizations where you would like to or wherever you have got any invitation you are saying you know you got one invitation from one organization so if you can give me that list okay that list plus your resume and uh, do you have a cover letter for any uh, already you are come uh, so uh, i never did it uh, but uh, nowadays uh, many of the csr they are asking the cover letters and it depends on the covering letter maybe it can be modified based on the job descriptions yeah, yeah. So that is what. So uh, uh, initially, because these jobs are not published, what we can do is we can uh, we can have an approach letter. So whatever uh, whatever you think should be in the cover letter, if you can just draft out one, then uh, your resume and also your cover letter plus the email body and uh, the preparation right everything is in your mind but that has to be very systematically told in the interview so um, that will be next week right so uh, the what is your the reflection on these two days uh, the discussion so the whatever the experience uh, i have is worth to uh, you know, any seekers are there so how we can uh, go ahead uh, so can i do the consultancy mode which will be more successful so yeah either i have to seek with the employment with the organization so which are doing the uh, uh, works on similar thematics area so big organizations like wtr itself because they they were not ag agreeing to continue with you so that would have been ideal, but there will be other organizations also, which will, like I said, they should be also paying, no? they should also pay. And uh, because you are already working with your, uh, this thing, many people are asking for consultants who can provide all these kind of insights and all these things, but they should also pay, right? Yeah. That is why I um, I'd suggest that first you get into one, um, you, you can get into a CSR position or a director position. Actually, I have two organizations which has started with FPO activities, but they are in North. And many in South, Tamil, do you speak Tamil also? Understand Tamil? A uh, little bit. So north means which part of the north? North is uh, like uh, uh, Lucknow and Baranasi and then uh, um, in east, West Bengal. Mm, so it again depends so how much uh, the how the organization is functioning, so how can whether uh, really it can be said. So Maharashtra for me, okay. So I can speak Marathi. Uh, so Northern UP and Bihar, I don't know because uh, how the social setup is there. Uh, yeah, no, no, people, my friends are there, so you won't have any difficulty. But the problem is communicating with the farmer. Of course, you will be you will be based at the strategic level, so not much issue. I'll speak to uh, speak to these two people and ask them if you 
if they want to hire you immediately then uh, uh, they might want you for a little bit or something i have to ask them so but uh, we we can send uh, our resume and the cover letter to everybody okay. all the csr people that you know everybody yes okay then um, anand okay thank you so, hope you remember what what all i said right the list of uh, list of organizations where you would like to work your resume and uh, cover letter if you have drafted something and uh, i will send you a uh, this is skeleton of a business plan so i have seen two opportunities one with the ford motor so mm. it is tamil nadu position so, so it is a csr lead mm. uh, second opportunity i have seen uh, again it is a mid level uh, with uh, uh, stl computer okay so we will send uh, our uh, this resume to those two, two people with cover letter okay Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll see you next week, right? Same time. Okay. okay. So, if any changes is there, I will uh, inform you. Will well in advance. Sure, sir. Sure. Okay.